I'm uh, mostly a self-taught artist. I began my art career at about six years old. My father was an early recycler. He'd bring home used paper from the office, and as soon as I could hold a crayon, I filled it all up. I had my first commission at 13. I was paid in art supplies. <laughs> And I've been painting all my life, but at some point I realized I was a much better sculptor. Uh, I was lucky to find a great teacher because there's a lot of technical things that you have to know in order to be able to do a successful sculpture, particularly one that's life-size. One of the things that most realistic sculptors are interested in doing nowadays is action. I'm less interested in action than I am in emotion. So many of my sculptures are still, but if you look at the faces, they might range from sadness to joy to concentration to just self-confidence. And I think that that gives a sculpture more, more ability to connect with the viewer because we all feel emotions. And when a viewer looks at a sculpture, I, I want to make that connection. You know, they say that it takes three things to make a work of art. It takes the artist, it takes the creation, and it takes a viewer. Because art is supposed to be a communication, and if you don't have that other person to communicate with, then it's, you know, kind of like the tree falling in the forest. Does it make a noise or not? Rita is one of my favorite pieces, and she gets a lot of attention. People wonder, you know, what is she thinking? What is she doing? It came about because I had met a woman named Rita through a friend of mine, and she just had such a self-possession. I was enthralled by her, so she agreed to become a model, and she's the one that this is based on. To me, the piece is proud and serene. Again, there's not much motion going on, but there's the expression, which is what I wanted to achieve. The really wonderful thing about bronze sculpture is that, well, it's gonna last forever, but also it's one of the few art forms that people can touch without hurting it. So it's a great way to introduce children to art. I think that sculpture belongs in the public realm, out where people can see it whenever they want. They don't have to go to a gallery or to a museum to see it. It gives me, as an artist, the opportunity to communicate with people on a daily basis. And that's what art should do. It should be part of our daily lives. Mm -hmm.